I always really like to start with why we're weaning because for when we're thinking about food and when we're thinking about introducing solid food to babies, it is about so much more than those nutrients getting into that baby. Because if it was just about nutrients, we would literally just think, okay, it doesn't really matter what we're feeding, we'll give a multivitamin and not be too bothered about it. But when we think about feeding as a whole, culturally for all of us food is about being sociable it's about eating together with family and weaning is about teaching our babies everything about eating not just about getting nutrients into them so i just want to think about some of the things that are really really important in the weaning process other than the food um, but first and foremost of course introducing solid food is about getting nutrients into babies so we know that by the time a baby is about six months old stores of nutrients that they've been given from mother during pregnancy have started to deplete and iron for most babies is pretty much completely depleted by six months um, that will vary depending on various factors but we know that by six months breast milk and formula milk is not enough to meet the needs the nutrient needs of a growing baby so it is really important that we're getting food into them on top of milk um, we're going to talk about when to start etc but there is this kind of misconception nowadays sadly um, that solid food is just about fun um, <clears throat> I don't know whether any of you have come across the expression under one is just for fun um, I hear it kind of banded about lots by parents on social media etc and yes food is about fun it should be about fun but it's not just about that Okay, and so there's other things going on at this time other than just the nutrients. First and foremost, the weaning process is a sensory experience for babies. Okay, there's a reason that babies like to smush food on their face, get it in their hair, kind of get it all over their hands, because babies learn about everything about the world by touch, smell, taste, you know, all of their senses, basically. We all know what their senses are. And there's a reason that things like baby sensory classes are incredibly popular because that's how babies learn about things. Now, if you allow your baby or the babies that you're working with to get in a mess, um, you know, allow them to smell it and touch it, what they're doing is they're building trust in that food and they're learning about the textures and the properties of it. Um, I work with lots of problem feeders who are kind of further down the line than weaning babies. And what I do is I unpick things. And often when I unpick all the way back to the weaning process, we start to see various things that have been happening. So that's kind of what today is all about as well. And if you think about it, you know, for example, if I was to get something on a spoon, on this spoon here, we weren't on a Zoom call, we were sat together, and I just said, look, open your mouth, I want to put this in, um, but I, you weren't allowed to smell it or touch it or anything like that, you just had to trust in me, what was on this spoon you wanted in your mouth? What is that experience going to be like for you? It's probably not that nice, our mouth is a very personal space, we don't want things in there that somebody else is putting in unless we've had a look at it which is why I'm kind of saying you know we're discouraging this whole you know the aeroplane and all of that kind of thing to get babies to put things in their mouth because it's all about building trust so letting babies get in a mess is really really important important we know that starting to eat develops speech muscles so getting those muscles moving helps them develop their speech it's all about teaching babies about um meal times the dynamic of being sociable etc um and we also know that exposure to lots of different foods is incredibly important during the weaning process. Lots of um, people kind of get in the habit of just using safe foods that they know that babies are going to eat. There's not a huge amount of variety. And I don't know whether any of you have ever heard of it, but when babies become toddlers and they kind of get to around 15, 18 months, around 50% of them will go through a phase that we call food neophobia. Um, I don't know whether anyone's heard of it before, but essentially it means fear of new foods. And it's a reason that lots of toddlers reject food. It's, you might not have heard of neophobia, but you've probably come across toddlers that like their sandwiches in a square. And if you cut it into a triangle, they go absolutely crazy because they don't want to eat it. So the reason if those babies have had lots of exposure to lots of different things, different shapes, different colors, different textures, even if it's, you know, 
same sorts of foods. So if we thought about pasta, for example, you know, don't always buy the same pasta, buy different shapes, colors, etc. That will help to stop those babies going into that food neophobia phase because they'll be very, very used to lots and lots of different foods. Um, so that's kind of a bit of foundations of why weaning is important. 